this meeting might be more productive if there were, like, say, something you might want to talk to me about. <laughs> it's weird that you're roasting my jacket and my jeans. I think this looks pretty good. I mean, are you going to a wedding in Montana? Like... Yeah, you know, I'm going to be best man. All the best men are dressed like this. No! All the... Then I have to be peed. No to that wedding. <laughs> I think I look like a superhero. This is not how superheroes dress. Superhero movies suck anyways, so. <gasps> superhero movies are fun. No. Yes! Not as fun as romantic comedies. Okay, so you're saying that you would rather watch Mannequin than Young Anakin? Ew. What? Is that a Star Wars reference? <laughs> and sorry to burst your bubble, but Star Wars does not classify as a superhero movie reference. It doesn't. And yes, I would rather watch Mannequin than Star Wars. Any day, every day of the week. I'm here. You know, that's exciting. We're, this is progress, right? Can't you just like ask me questions, figure out how I'm not healthy, and then, I don't know, tell me how to be healthy? Yes, I certainly could do that. But it takes a great deal of time to map out all the areas of your psyche that might need some attention. So I need that much work, doc. What's your favorite rom-com? I'm gonna have to say win a date with Tad Hamilton. I forgot about that movie. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I also have a back of the house. Oh, well that sounds tempting. Mm. So, bite the apple, Eve. Mm. You know what else I've been doing? Mm. Working out my core. Ooh. I mean, completely skipping leg and arm day, so I'm just built like a Ninja Turtle, but <laughs> we can go back to the house, you can play checkers on my abs, you know? Feel me. You know, flex, see. <laughs> uh, hard. You have a joke for every single thing I say. Sometimes I just want to talk to you without you having a perfect answer for everything. I'm of the belief that we all need that much work. But the work that I'm talking about is general maintenance. You have to think of your mind as a car. It needs to be properly maintained in order to run properly, correct? Okay. So I'm an 87 day woo that hasn't had an oil change since I got out of the factory. No, I would not say that. Okay, so how do I trade in? Trade in. Trade in for something less pathetic, less weak. Sorry, detective. If I'm in the interrogation room, mm -hmm. what do you want to know? What's your biggest fear? Fine. Roller coasters. Roller coasters scare you? Completely. I'm like horrified <laughs> that they exist. Scout's honor. <laughs> if Freddy Krueger ever infiltrates my dream, all he has to do is make me ride the Mr. Freeze ride at Six Flags and I'll die. <laughs> Are you scared of me? You might be crazy good at hiding your identity as a roller coaster, but you're not that good. Let me see. I'm serious. Are you scared of me? Yeah, I'm a serial killer, you better run. In fact, I'll give you five seconds and then I am gonna pounce on you and turn you into the rightful lampshade that you are. <laughs> I think that you're afraid. I think that you're really afraid. We've slept together like a million times. We've been hooking up for weeks. And I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm just trying to have fun with you. I like having fun with you. You can jump into bed with somebody without having, like, a connection with them. I really like being with you, David. It's fun. But there's more to a connection than fun. There's more to everything than just fun. Yeah, I know that. You think you're weak? Like, I want a mind like an Aston Martin, right? How do I get, like, a uh, James Bond car? Right. Well, first of all, I really don't think your initial assessment is accurate. And what are you good for anyways? 
David, I think you need to take a step back. Don't you think that I know that? Maybe you know it, but... Do you feel it? How's that any different? Why are you afraid to be anything more than just the fun guy? You don't tell me what to do, okay? I came in here looking for help. I'm practically on bended knee. Do you think this feels good to me? Do you think I like doing this? Did something happen recently? Things happen all the time, Carol. Every second of every hour of every day. I think you're acting a bit irrationally, and I'd like you to just take a step back and think about what you're doing. I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm telling you how I feel. What do you want to know? That I grew up in an abusive household and was molested by my brother? Huh? Great table side chat right there. Maybe we can talk about that and that'll get you in the mood. You still want to come over? Or maybe we can talk about last year, how I tried to kill myself two times. Or maybe we can talk about the fact that the only reason why I joke around so much is because it's the only way I feel like I can connect with people. And if you saw how fragile I really am, and you could see how weak I really felt, you would totally leave me. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. If I could just put on a big enough facade, I can trick you into staying around for a little bit longer. So there you go. I tried my best with you, just, just leave. I don't want to leave. What are you, what are, what are you doing? Okay. Is the better question. What are you, you doing? You're feeling a lot <laughs> right now. <laughs> now I, I know you don't want to hear this, but I think something has triggered you, and you... Just spit it out. I'm crazy. I'm weak. I'm a worthless piece of human refuse who pushes away anybody who stupidly tries to get close to him. You don't think I think about these things all the time? Like, all the time! I didn't know! I don't know! I just want to get to know you. I know you want to leave. You do, and you would, but you're just afraid that I'll do something stupid. So just consider this a get-out-of-jail-free card. I'm not gonna do anything. Just say something. I'll just man up. Just tell me I'm nothing. We are out of time for today. Good. Why are you trying to shake my hand? Because everything I just said made me look like a pauper in your eyes. You don't look like a pauper. Yeah, well, I view myself that way, so here's your car. Get home safe to take care and all that stuff. David. David.